What's going on, legends? So today I've got another meal prep video for you guys for a whole week's worth of eating. Let's get into it, guys. So I just want to show you what kind of proteins I'm going to be using for this week. Um, I've got lean ground turkey, two pounds. And then I've got the turkey kill boss that you guys saw in the last video. I'm going to be making the same kind of uh, breakfast. And then I've got four packs of uh, chicken breast over here. Alright guys, so basically I just want to show you guys real quick what I'll be doing with this turkey and uh, basically all I'm going to be doing is a quick little turkey taco recipe. Um, meal prep's really easy, it's very high protein um, and you can always substitute stuff, you know, to make it more high protein or if you don't like certain things, I'm going to be adding beans to this. So I just preheat the pan. Obviously, see a little bit of spray, and then uh, I've got the pound of uh, lean ground turkey. Now, I like to do this step. You don't have to do this, but I just chop it up real quick, kind of make it into smaller pieces. It's easier. I'm gonna put a little bit of Creole seasoning in it, okay? Just a little bit for a little bit of heat. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of taco seasoning. So I've got the 40% less sodium. I suggest using as little sodium as you possibly can. And then uh, just evenly coat the entire top. So that wasn't a whole packet. That was about three quarter of the uh, packet. We used the rest before. So um, yeah, don't use the whole packet. Whole packet will be quite a bit. Okay guys, so as I've shown you before, um, I always measure my food, uh, especially for a meal prep, just because it makes it that much easier to be healthy, live that lifestyle. So I need eight ounces of uh, ground turkey in each one of these. As you can see, it's just pretty, uh, nothing really crazy about this recipe here. Um, it's very, very simple to do, fast, and if you don't have a lot of money, this is a, definitely one of those top ones for uh, budget-friendly bodybuilding. So, yeah, you just want eight ounces for the males, four ounces, maybe five for females, depending on what you're going for. If you're cutting, uh, I'd definitely stick with the four, if you're, especially if you're a female. In the microwave right now, I've got Brussels sprouts going. Um, I get them from Frozen. You guys saw it in the last video. Basically, eight minutes. Put it in a container, and then uh, you put a tablespoon of water, and it steams it. So I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. There's a little special thing that I've got going. I'm gonna put this with my uh, beans and ground turkey. Um, that way, I've got my my uh, carbs, hey guys. I'm gonna do the ground turkey, beans, and then the Brussels sprouts. And in a little bit after these cool down a little bit, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm gonna do with those. All right, guys. So next step. I've already uh, measured out all the ground turkey, so I've got two servings for my wife, two servings for me, and that's two pounds of ground turkey. So next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some chili beans. I do not believe they have um, reduced sodium on these. I didn't see any. Um, they might have them at your grocery store. I would recommend it if they did have it. So basically what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put half a cup in each one of mine and then I'll probably use the rest to eat later. Um, but this has about three and a half um, servings per container. Right over here, I've got the Brussels sprouts. They're done. Um, I cooked them for eight minutes in the microwave, so they're all done. Next thing I need to do with them is drain them, and then I'm gonna show you guys a cool little sauce thing that I learned. All right, guys, so I've got the Brussels sprouts all drained. I just put the lid on and drained them that way. So they're nice and thoroughly drained, and I'm gonna show you guys the sauce that I'm gonna use for this. But before I do that, I'm just gonna show you guys quickly. Um, I got the beans over here, like I was saying before. All I'm gonna do to this is add a tablespoon of, uh, I'm gonna use Hatch green chilies from New Mexico, but you could use whatever, you know, you can use Ortega chilies, whatever you're gonna do. So I'm gonna use a heaping, tablespoon because I like spice and I like to add a little something different so just one tablespoon should do it and then uh, that's pretty much it guys so yeah I'm gonna stir it around mix it up if I can find the thing so I'm gonna use a slotted one just because I don't want a crazy amount of sauce in with my uh, 
ground turkey. So stir that up. I've got it on pretty low um, for mine. It's medium low, just so it's a slow simmer. Just because I want these to just cook just a little bit slower than normal. I don't want them uh, heating up too crazy fast, especially since I'm going to be doing um, my vegetables right now. Just cover that up, let it kind of simmer, and uh, I'm going to show you guys the sauce for the Brussels sprouts right now. Okay guys, so basically what I'm going to be putting in, into it is uh, some salt to taste, pepper to taste, Frank's Red Hot Original to taste. Um, depending on how many Brussels sprouts you make, I'm probably going to be adding maybe three tablespoons of fat-free Thousand Island. It's got to be fat-free to keep the keep the grams of fat as low as possible, and then some garlic powder. Um, for this, I'll probably be using about a teaspoon and a half. Um, I'm going to put I'm going to put it in the link and make it, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, guys, so check it out. The Brussels sprouts are all done. And exactly what went into this is I put three tablespoons of that fat Three Thousand Island. I put pepper to taste, salt to taste, and I pretty much just put a, a light even layer of uh, garlic powder on the top. Um, I would say it was about a teaspoon, wasn't anything too crazy. And then I put a tablespoon of Frank's Red Hot. Then I put the lid on it since it was a uh, Tupperware and then I just shipped the hell out of it and that's it. So I'm just gonna do a quick little taste test because they just look good, they smell awesome, nice and soft. I recommend it for sure. So these, I would recommend putting them in, in the meal preps that you think you're going to eat earlier on. Brussels sprouts don't tend to stay good for more than like three, I'd say three days. I wanted to check out these beans. Like I was saying before, look at my fingers, wipe them off. So um, they've been cooking nice low and slow and um, that burning isn't from the beans, it's from uh, the ground turkey that we cooked, because I cooked it in the same pan. Um, I just sprayed a little bit of pan so it wouldn't stick as much. So as you can tell, it's all in the center where the ground turkey was cooking. So I just wanted to get some of that ground turkey flavor in there, um, and some of that the seasonings that I put in with like the taco seasoning and whatnot. So yeah, as you can see, you can see the uh, everything's coming together, kind of reducing that sauce. Because like I said, I don't want a whole crap load of sauce, but if you reduce it, then it'll make a more bold flavor either way. So I'm just going to keep cooking it um, nice and low and slow, beans off there, and then uh, cover it up with a lid again and keep letting it cook. All right, that's it. So next thing I'm going to get into is I'm going to do this chicken. So what I'm going to do with this chicken, guys, is I'm going to do a chicken stir fry. So I've got my frozen vegetables over here. I've got my... Uh, I've got frozen bell peppers. I'm gonna put those in there, and then I'm gonna do some broccoli as well, and then chicken, and then a nice little sauce. And that's pretty much gonna be it, guys. And then after that, I'll show you guys what I did for the breakfast, which you guys already know what it is, um, but I'll show you the after, the finished product, and tell you exactly what went into it. As you can see, these cook down quite a bit. I'm about to put them into here, and uh, it says about a half cup, so that is 130 grams. And that's what I'm putting in. So I'm just gonna put in 130 grams per container, minus my wife's. Oh, it would probably help if I put it to grams. So it's 91. What's good about the beans is since I'm eating lower uh, carbs, 133 grams, I'll leave it there. So I'm gonna repeat it for the next one, but uh, I just wanna show you guys what I'll be doing for each one. So obviously the beans went on the top, adds a nice little sauce. Now I'm going to zero, zero it out again, and for the Brussels sprouts here, I'm just going to pour them straight in, but I need 170 grams of the Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to just get some with my fingers, so 110, 105, I'll leave it at that, 169 grams. So right there, full meal. Got your beans for protein and carbs, clean as you can get. And then I've got my carb source slash green vegetable, which is my Brussels sprouts with that awesome sauce. And then uh, I've got the taco turkeys, uh, the ground taco turkey. Hey, dudes. I just wanted to do a quick little snack intermission. 
So I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, there it is. So this is two packets of the Justin's maple peanut butter. And then I put a sugar-free Smuckers, strawberry flavored. Obviously, strawberry is the best. Um, and then I put the uh, carb, it, it's all in a carb balance. I toasted it a little bit. Pro tip, if you're having a hard time and it's just not wanting to come out as far as the uh, peanut butter goes for the Justin's, mine was really hard. Uh, heat up some water, put it in there. But I, I couldn't wait and pick up the camera to start eating this, guys. That's how freaking awesome it is. All right, back to the back to the meal prep, guys. Check it out, guys. So what I've got going on here is my sauce for the stir fry. So I doubled the amount, and that came out to six tablespoons of soy sauce, uh, reduced sodium, and then I also put two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of white vinegar. Uh, you're supposed to use rice vinegar, but I didn't have it, so white vinegar. White vinegar is going to have to do, um, and then I'm going to add right now a tablespoon of cornstarch, and then I didn't have a fresh orange either, so I, obviously I'm improvising a lot, guys. We had orange juice, so I just added uh, eight tablespoons of orange juice, so that would be two oranges for this recipe. So I just wanted to mix it before I started getting into all the craziness. Um, you could add, add ginger to it, optional. Uh, you would need, I believe it's two teaspoons of ginger. Ginger is very uh, coarse and strong. One. And two. So these are half tablespoons. Um, the original recipe for half this amount, this calls for you to do um, half tablespoon to a full tablespoon. So I just figured one tablespoon should just that should just do it right out. Um, if I need more, I can add a little bit more. But that looks like it's it's pretty good to me. Okay, guys. So go ahead and check it out. Um, all I've got in here is two breasts. And for your chicken stir fry recipe, you just need to add that sauce. By the way, I added more cornstarch, but I'll put the uh, ingredient list in the link below. I'll also put it on the screen so you guys can see it right about here. So, yeah, uh, I got the chicken, two breasts, cooking down. Um, so all I seasoned it with was some of this Cavander's. It's a little lighter. Uh, it's a Greek seasoning, so pretty light. Um, it's kind of like a more fresh seasoning. Just cover it. I'm cooking it on medium. Okay, so go ahead and check it out. Um, I've got the chicken already done in the bowl. By the way, you want that all the way cooked through. Um, then just set it to the side in a bowl. Right here, I've got my vegetables going. Um, all it is is I put a bag of frozen broccoli, a bag of frozen bell peppers, um, and then I put a full tablespoon of uh, minced garlic because I like minced garlic. Um, and I'm just gonna let it kind of do its thing. Probably turn up the heat a little bit. So the whole goal is to just make it tender, but you want a little bit of a crunch to it. And then uh, I'll put the chicken in here to saute with it, do its thing. Um, I probably won't be able to get all of the chicken, but I'll probably do it in two batches of uh, chicken and veggies. So. Basically, after you cook it, you put everything to the side, and then on one side you're gonna put your sauce, and since it's got the cornstarch, it's gonna react, and then uh, you'll have a nice thick sauce, once you, and then you'll be able to toss it with it, and it'll be pretty much instant stir fry. Um, restaurant quality is what it says, um, but I'm not sure, I've never tried this recipe. So I'll give you guys a, a little taste test at the end. All right guys, so what I did here is I mixed the sauce back together, got that starch, uh, mix back in with the, with the rest of the ingredients because um, obviously it's going to float to the bottom guys. Um, over here, like I said before, um, you're going to have to move everything to one side. So what I did is I took half the contents out and I just put them in the same bowl that the chicken was in. And uh, I'll be repeating the process. So I'm going to use about half of this sauce and uh, we'll see how it goes right now. So I'm going to add just a decent amount. I've got it on three, so pretty low. 
once it hits, it's supposed to move pretty pretty quick. I hope I got that all in there. So let it boil. So I'll turn the heat up a little bit. So what's supposed to happen here is once it starts boiling, the cornstarch is gonna thicken up the sauce, and I'm gonna mix all the chicken and the vegetables with it. So um, I'm just gonna keep this kind of moving so the starch doesn't separate. It kind of looks like that's what it was gonna do. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I'm turning it up to six, which is medium high, guys. Okay, guys, so check it out. You can see it's boiling, thickened up for sure. Um, now, all you're gonna do is mix everything up. You can see it turned a nice darker color and uh, nice and thick. So, just gotta mix everything in here together, and that sauce should coat the whole uh, amount that I've got here. Um, if it doesn't, I'm gonna put this all together either way, the whole contents of that bowl and what's in here. And uh, pretty much that whole sauce is gonna get used. So this is actually the first time I've ever tried this, <laughs> this uh, stir fry recipe. Um, I've made broccoli beef before, and the broccoli beef was really good. So I decided I wanted to do it with chicken. Um, because I'm trying to eat as lean as I can, obviously, for uh, you know cutting purposes. If you can see that, guys, that's basically what you're looking for. Is that nice coating across the whole thing? You can see how thick it got after it heated up. And I'm just cooking it down, making sure all that sauce got nice and uh, coated over every piece. And then from here, I'm gonna throw it into a bowl, guys. All right, so I already plated all of the stir fry, and this is what it looks like. Um, but I promised you guys a little taste test, and uh, I'm gonna do it. So, with no further ado, ready, steady, go. It's really good. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you guys a quick little tip on cutting cauliflower or broccoli. And all it is, is you just cut around in a circle. So you can see I cut all the uh, green shrubbery off. Now, just cut all the way around. So you have just a little stub. Yeah guys, I'm gonna cook the breakfast up, but I'll just show you guys the end product. Uh, I will link the breakfast that I make in the uh, description box below the other video that I made for the breakfast to show you guys everything. But basically, it's an onion, cauliflower, some garlic, um, paprika, some other spices, and then I put sausages, um, the turkey ones are already done, and then uh, I throw four eggs in my servings. And that's pretty much it. It's really simple. Okay guys, so meal prep finished. I'll show you guys what the hash came out looking like. Right there. That's the hash. Um, this was extra, so I just made it into a meal for right now. Four eggs. You know, the huge cauliflower and then the sauce. But if you guys liked the video and you haven't subscribed already, please do. It helps me out a lot. Uh, hit the like button so I can reach more people. Keeps me motivated to do better videos. So, if you guys have suggestions, please put them in the comments below, or give me a personal message, tell me what I can improve on. It's all about getting better together here, guys. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and like always, this has been a King's Legacy production, have a good day.